So now let us proceed to key classification. So the key classification is obtained by, by counting the reach count of the first loop appearing on the fingerprint card starting from the right thumb or finger number one down to the last fingers of the left hand with the exception to of the little fingers or finger number five and ten since they are reserved for final classification. So in our set of fingerprints, we are going to classify finger number four because finger number four is the first loop that appeared from finger number one to four, six to nine with the exception of fingers number five and ten. So let us now conduct a reach count. First, we identified the delta and then we identified the core. And then, after conducting reach count, it was found out that there are 11 intervening ridges between the delta and the core. So, it will lead to the answer 11 for our key classification. So, now let us proceed to the final classification formula. So, it is obtained for, from the little fingers, fingers number 5 and 10. The reach count of the loop will be brought up to the classification formula and will be placed at the extreme right of the classification formula. Only one finger is necessary on the final classification. If both little fingers are looped, the right little finger has priority. However, if the loop pattern is found only on the left little finger, then such reach count will be the final classification. Since in this rule, if the loop pattern is found on the left little finger, the final classification will be at the denominator side of the classification line. And take note, during the final classification, if you classify the right little fingers, you are going to, the right little finger or finger number 5, the final classification is located at the numerator side. And if you classify the left little finger, then the final classification will be brought to the denominator side. So, if both fingers have no loop, the world will be considered. It is only this time that the reach counting for world apply and not tracing. And I repeat, if there is no loop and there is world pattern, there is no loop in fingers number 5 and finger number 10. However, there are there is a loop pattern we will conduct ridge count, not ridge tracing. Ridges of the world will be counted from delta to the core. Since world pattern has at least two deltas, a world on the right little finger is ridge counted from the left delta to the core, while the world on the left little finger is ridge counted from the right delta towards the core. Again, example, in the final classification, the rule applies that, or the, the rule says that you have to prioritize the right little fingers or finger number five. If there is loop pattern on fingers number five and number ten, then, for example, finger number 10 is also a loop pattern. Then we are going to prioritize the loop pattern at the finger number 5. However, if finger number 5 is a world pattern and finger number 10 is a loop pattern, you have to take note that the loop pattern will be prioritized even though it is located at the left little finger. If that's the case, again, 
your final classification will be brought to the denominator side of the classification formula. So when a loop and a whirl occur, a loop is given a priority. So there is no need to count the ridges of the whirl when a loop pattern appeared in any of the two little fingers. So if pattern found in both little fingers are arches, there is no final classification. So now, let us classify. So in our case, since finger number 5 is already a loop pattern, it will be the pattern that will be classified. So, finger number 5 will be reach counted after identifying the core and the delta. And after counting the intervening ridges, it was found out that the finger number 5 has a 17 intervening ridges between the delta and the core which will lead to number 17 as our final classification. Now, let us now answer your question because that is just normal. What if there is what if your fingers number 5 and finger number 10 is whirl pattern. Example, meaning to say if your finger number 5 and 6 is your alpha 5 and 10 are whirl patterns, meaning to say rule number 1 will be applied. Your right little finger will be uh, prioritized. However, your world pattern will not be traced. It will be rich counted. And always remember this rule. If you, if you rich count the world pattern in the final classification, and if you rich count the right little finger, which is a world, you start from the left delta to the core. Again, if you reach count the world from a, the right little finger, you must start from the left delta or you must use the, the left delta to the core. And in the case when the right little finger is an arc. Example, the right little finger is an arc and your left little finger is whirl. Again, if you reach count a world type of a world type pattern that can be found on the left little finger for the final classification, you have to start from the right delta. Here, if you reach out this world, you have to start here. The, re the right delta up to the core. And it will be, your final classification will be located at the denominator area or side of the classification formula. So to proceed, always remember right, left, and left, right. So 17. So based on the set of given fingerprints, our classification will be the following. So we have 11 for the key, inner over large for major, 18 over 25 for primary, and we have the dash, capital letter W, dash, small letter U, small letter R, small letter for the numerator of the secondary classification, we have the small letter U, capital letter T, small letter U, small letter T, and a dash for the denominator of the secondary classification. And in the sub-secondary classification, we have the outer 
or outer and inner for the numerator and we have the dash inner and outer for the denominator of the sub-secondary classification and we have 17 reach count for the final classification so with that i am giving you your assignment you have your instructions first classify your fingerprints that was taken in last or taken last March 10, 2020, sorry for the wrong grammar. Since it was imprinted on a fingerprint card, you must use a pencil during reach counting and reach tracing. Since it will be your first time, uh, expect many errors. So, so th that is why you must use a pencil. Or if you have an access for a photocopier or you have an access of a scanner in your home again if you have an access of a scanner or a photocopier or a xerox machine in your home you have to photocopy your fingerprint classification card but if not pag wala, you have to use a pencil since you are prone to making prone uh, to making on making errors since it will be your first time number two or second instruction send me a clear photograph of your output through messenger or email so thank you very much and keep safe see you soon